<laughs> All right, growers, put on your seatbelts. Hydroponic Nutrient Strength TDS, PPMs, Conductivity, and EC Explained. Here we go. A TDS meter measures the concentration of your nutrient solution. Well, it makes an educated guess. In actual fact, it measures the electrical conductance of your nutrient solution by passing a small amount of electricity between two electrodes. Pure water conducts very little electricity, but as more salts are dissolved in it, the level of conductance increases. So for the sake of accuracy, we measure our nutrient solution's electrical conductance, and from that, we infer the concentration level. Now, if it sounds like I'm splitting hairs here, please just bear with me and all will become clear in just a moment. First, note that the electrical conductance is measured in units called siemens. However, because the numbers we're dealing with are very small, it's more common to talk in terms of millisiemens, one thousandth of a siemen, or micro siemens, one millionth of a siemen. Looking along this EC shake conductivity meter, for example, we see that the EC scale reads from 0.2 to 3.6. Now, you might be wondering, 0.2 to 3.6 what? Siemens, millisiemens, microsiemens, koala bears, what? Well, the answer is millisiemens. And as a microsiemen is 1,000 times smaller than a millisiemen, 0.6 millisiemens is equal to 600 microsiemens. Still with me? Good. Not far to go now. Growers in Europe tend to use EC as their scale for measuring nutrient concentration, even though they're really measuring electrical conductance. Hey, as long as they know what the numbers mean in practical terms, who cares, right? A grower in Great Britain might say they run their nutrients at EC 2.2. What they mean is 2.2 millisiemens, or 2200 microsiemens. However, growers in the United States like to make life even more difficult for themselves. <coughs> I'm sorry, they tend to favor PPMs, or parts per million. Now, you'll hear hydro people talking about feeding their plants at 1100 ppms or boasting about their source water being under 100 ppms. What has all this got to do with micro siemens, millisiemens, or electrical conductance, I hear you ask? Well, as it turns out, there are different ways of converting electrical conductance. We'll use micro siemens into TDS, ppms. Different solutes have different conductivity levels, so any conversion factor is always going to be an approximation. So a TDS meter is just a conductivity meter with a little bit of software that makes the conversion to PPMs. First, there's the NaCl conversion factor, based on, you guessed it, sodium chloride, ding, or a regular table salt. The NaCl factor says take your conductance level in microsiemens and multiply it by anything from 0.47 to 0.5. And most TDS meters will use 0.5, and it makes the math a whole lot easier, too. So an EC of 600 microsiemens will be displayed as 300 PPMs by a TDS meter using the NaCl conversion factor. 600 times 0.5 equals 300. Easy. Next, there's the natural water conversion factor, a proprietary scale based on properties of naturally occurring fresh water. It's also known as the 442 scale. It's called 442 because it's based on a combination of solutes, not just table salt, 40% sodium sulfate, 40% sodium bicarbonate, and 20% sodium chloride. The conversion factor ranges 0.65 to 0.85. Most TDS meters will multiply by 0.7, so in our previous example, 600 millisiemens will be displayed as 420 ppms. Another popular conversion factor is called KCL based on potassium chloride. Typically, it's 0.55 times the micro siemens, so a TDS meter using the KCL scale will read 330 ppms. Oh, there are other conversion factors too, but I'm sensing your eyes are glazing over. So basically, here's my point. In Europe, EC rules, and they have one reading to go by. In this example, 600 micro siemens or 0.6 millisiemens. In America, using a TDS meter, you could be reading anything between 300 and 420 ppms for the very same nutrient solution. <laughs> go figure. So where does all this leave us? Well, first off, if you're using a TDS meter and working out your nutrient solution strength in ppms, you must absolutely know which conversion factor your TDS meter is using, otherwise you may as well go back to your feed charts. Okay, my final point, calibration fluids. Take this 1000 ppm calibration fluid, for example. The idea is that you use a liquid like this, which is guaranteed to represent a certain conductivity level, as a way of checking and recalibrating your TDS meter should you need to. Of course, because it's stated in ppms, you need to know what scale the calibration fluid manufacturer is using. A quick check of the label and, oh, thanks Grotech for not mentioning it anywhere. Fortunately, the friendly guys at GrowTech tell me it's 0.5, but hey, how about you put it on the label or even better, talk to me in millisiemens. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope I made everything clear. Post your comments, questions in the box below. And remember, for grow tips, expert advice, and tons more video, check out JustForGrowers.com, the global garden community.